Alright. Welcome back to Pokemon. It's time to... Pretty much, as far as I'm aware, pretty much time to finish the game. I started at the front of the area because that's what we did the last time, so I don't know how long this is going to take, but we have the post game to deal with today. It's time for the gym leaders. And I believe this way leads to the grass gym leader. I mean, I could have gone around, but let's do it. Let's go on our merry way. Let's do it. Let's go. I mean, I also completed the Pokedex. I should probably show that off. It's done. All 400 Pokemon. Every single one of them. I'm done. I don't need to catch another Pokemon if I don't want to. It is time to go and finish this game, apparently. I don't know what to expect. It says to do the eight gyms, and that's what we gotta do. So we'll go to the very first gym. We'll go to each area. We'll go to each gym. We'll go to each gym, and we're gonna walk to them. Well, run to them. It only makes sense to do so. I would rather do this. Because it's like, uh... Should I fly? No. Nah. I like exploring. I really don't like flying around. I would rather explore the area. Ex explore, see the items on the ground, pick them up. I enjoy doing that. It's funny. This game is very similar to Skyrim and how it's like... You have everything for you. You have everything you need. Go off and do what you want. I mean, there's some story elements, but you're not forced to do them, and that's what this game is great about. You just get to play a game like Skyrim, and uh, yeah, almost there. Now, it is a shame that I don't really get to do what I want. Um, I, I chose a team, but there's like some Pokemon I've wanted to use, but I never use them. So, when I get Violet eventually, and maybe play it with a friend, on stream, maybe. Uh, we could play it together. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Off we go. Into the gym. Actually, I'm curious. Do we have to do the gym challenges again? I hope not. I really hope not. If we have to, that's going to make this stream probably longer than I anticipated. Hey, buddy. Avant-garde! You are Midnight, no? You are the artist Midnight God. It's, it's, it's the champion, actually. That is no consequence. Each time I recall our artistic battle, I found myself wishing to face you once again. I'm so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I had planned to meet with the top champion today, but I have just now cancelled that plan. Shall we talk of art together? Sure. What? You came in the, in the top champion's stead? Well, I cannot to be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well then, Midnight, are you ready to open wide a door to the world of art? Yes. <coughs> Avant-garde, very well then. Let us head to my studio. I have no idea what to expect. I think it's just a gym fight. I have no idea. I'm mean, actually, most of my team is definitely able to deal with grass ground, rock, dragon, fairy. Behold, Midnight, the sight of a artisan's windmill. It catches the winds that blow across Paldea and slowly yet powerfully spins on. My leaping down that 
windmills who appear before those who challenge the, my gym lends an added depth to our battles. I see. I knew you would understand my reasoning, Midnight. <laughs> Though I believe I can spare my legs today, as we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet, even if I do al not align a light from above. But I digress. We are both artists, are we not? We have no further use for words now. I assume you are ready. Let our collaborative work of art begin. It is Gym Fight Rematch. Rossius. Lilligant. Oh, would you look at that? Let us ponder the art will we create together, Mid. What art is that? The de the defeat of your Pokemon? I got my dragon. Serena. Oh, this Pokemon. Oh, no. Oh, it's the Pokemon that can step on you. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this Pokemon will be used for that. Breloom! Would this not be super effective or would it be normal damage? I'm actually curious. No, it's super effective. I guess... Ah, but you're still faster than me with their mock punch. Mm. Okay. Let's do it. We got this gym fight in the bag. I mean, we're the champion after all. Arbolv... Arboliva? Arboliva. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, this is a Pokemon I kind of wanted to use, but I could never figure it out. Seed flower? Oh, grass grew about misty feel? Maybe? That's all I can really think. HP has been restored. Ah, look, it's pseudo wudo. This work's concept is a deep rooting nature of plants that briar thorns not easily. I didn't get to read that. Time for a terastalize. I do hope this work lives up to my expectations. I shall call it Trilurudo Part 2. I didn't really do this in each gym fight because it was kind of easy. In gym fight number one. I thought it, my dear grass grow, I say, heed my wishes and grow. Don't I resist grass? Yes, I do. Nope. I mean, let's really be honest here. I've done so much as a as a champion thus far. Oh, well, I beat the champion, but then I went to area zero. And now here we are. Ah, oh, thank God. It's funny, Maractus escape. Seeing you in the midst of battle, you are like a unique gradient, sub subtly changing hues. Rhodius and yet gentle. Such contrast. I lack the words to express it. My hat goes off to you. My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time I am made to remember how I felt so long ago. When I first ventured into the world of art. I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection at the top champion stead, correct? Well, that is no consequence. Report to my gym here as you see fit. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. In ten minutes, I've beaten the first gym. I got seven more gyms to do. I 
Only seven more to go. It only makes sense from here on out. It is time to go fight off the bug type gym leader. I have no idea what to expect after I beat the eighth gyms again. Because there's always the rematches. Hey! <laughs> That's really cool. They call me champion. I mean, I've become the champion in Generation 7, Generation 8, and now Generation 9, where I'm the champion of the region. Well, I think it's uh, Emperor's time to shine. They weren't really with us during this gym fight, so it only makes sense to go in and fight again. This is quite interesting. Wait, what? La Bebe? Oh, you have a La Bebe. Oh, that would have been a trade. No. I'm good. I have a Snom. And I also have a Frostmoth and a Fobebe. I have completed my Pokedex. Hello there. My name is Caddy, and I'm the owner of Pastory Soapberry. Oh, the new champion everyone was talking about. Is it actually you, sweetie? Sure is. Hooray, I guessed correctly. I suppose that makes sense, though. You sure were strong. You really looked like you were enjoying yourself, too, when you tried my sweet treats, too. People like that always have great potential. So you're here on the errand of the top champion, are you? I'm getting a call. What the hell? I'd completely forgotten that she was supposed to be going around for the inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to be here today, so to give cakes to the staff. Phew, look at me. Very well, then. It is time for me to get a taste of our new champion's strength. Yes. <laughs> oh, what fun. Let's go somewhere more suited for battling. Are you sure about that? It's only gonna get strong. It's only gonna get worse from here. Or it's gonna get better. I have no idea. I remember your olive rolling prowess very well, Midnight. You had such vigor, it was almost as if you had terrestrialized into a fighting tech yourself. How many gyms had you been to when you first came here to mine? Was it your first? The Cortano gym is close to the academy, so many young trainers just start out like to come here first. With that in mind, La Prima asked me to go soft on trainers like a nice sponge cake. I had sad... I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though. Since that means they quite often lose their battles. <laughs> but opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show my true skill. Allow me to lead you on into submission. What are you going to turn me into, a loaf of bread? Okay, Katie. Let's go. Oh, you've got a good Pokemon. But the last time I was here, I had a completely different team. Don't expect me to be sweet today. And don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. Okay, that's fine by me. Oh, it's still faster. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm enjoying this very much. Fortress. I know about this Pokemon. It typically has the ability Sturdy. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have, like, um... Yep, there it is. There's Sturdy. It endured the hit. You raise all your attack and defense, but that's not going to do anything. Now when you have 
one HP, of course. Heracross. Well, 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 Heracross. I miss Pokemon's complete and their counter. Heracross is a great Pokemon, but not anymore. I don't mind not having a Heracross. Spidops. Spidops? Is this her third or fourth? Okay, this is her fourth. Ursaring. Perseverance is more important for bug types. It's time to leap toward victory. Let's do it. Oh, that was a good clip with the nail. My sweet little bear, show me your new form as if you were a bug emerging from its cocoon. Let's do it. We don't have much going on, of course. done a lot of damage if I was still a fire type. This wouldn't have done anything if you were still a normal type. But I have done it. I see you emerge from your chrysalis and became a beautiful new you. I have beaten Katie once again. That was quite the battle, I must say, that your skill rivals that of even La Primera. Ah, how sweet it is to battle without holding back, even if I ended up losing again. I am beginning to think that I'm going too soft on people, maybe no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into baking, after all. I think I may conduct, try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Cortando Gym is suddenly more difficult, I will just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. And that's it. That is Gym Nat number two. But let's get difficult with this. Let's actually make one of... Let's go fight Larry. He's the he's really the only gym leader who's actually an Elite Four member, so we should probably go fight against Larry. I really don't have a way of battling against normal pipes. Actually, now that I think about it, Lano's next. I have to go get rid of her first. Get rid of Lano. A hundred percent. I am I don't like her. I did not like her before, and I, I don't want to fight her again. I do not want to. Let's go fight her now. She has electric types. I don't have any ground types. I'm up so late. Well, thank you. I do have a rock type, though. Let's get Van in here. It only makes sense to use a Pokemon that I didn't have when I first fought the gym. Let's do it. Alright, Lano. Let's do it. Is it Ayano or Lano? I don't know. I have no idea.
Supreme Arena, your eyeballs are mine. Got an electro web? Who what's it? Lano. Ugh. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. Wait, you aren't Gita. She sent me instead. Say what? You just became a champion and you're already out helping La Primera? Weren't you just doing your gym test like yesterday and you're really kicking butt out there? Wait, so basically you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab? <sighs> I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. You care only about popularity and I hate you for it. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, friendo. Since you're here to do the investigation for inspection for Kita, I'm gonna give you a show you'll never forget. And I'm about to... Uh, and I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Yeah. I don't want to come back to this gym ever. I don't want to fight you ever again. I am not a fan of you. I hate you. There's a lot of people who want to get popular so that they can help others. She just wants to be popular because... And I don't like her. Ugh. Here we go. I'm not talking for her. You wanna get this number up? Hey, what? Hey, wait a second. Why am I following you? that Pokeball balancing? That's a good question. Oh, you think, you think just because you can come after me, you think you've won? Oh, no, 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 no. You want a show? I'll show you a show. Let's get the terastalized form right out. Better make this a very showy show. This is the only way I can be a good show. I can show my showmanship to you. Ah, Tailwind, the move that makes your poke your Pokemon faster. It's not really gonna do too much for you. Oh, belly bolt, no. Oh, thunder. It missed. I guess that was a bit shocking for you. Oh, this thing is bulky. This is a very bulky electric type. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but Belly Bolt has fainted, so there's nothing you can do. Oh, look, it's Electrode, a very, very fast Pokemon that I'm not a fan of at all. Wow, look, look how original that is. What does even Electric Terrain do? I never understood what these terrain moves do. I know what the grass terrain does. That heals you. But other than that, I don't know. Oh, a Luxray. What? What? What's going on? You're scared. You're scared. How are you scared? Home sweet home. I'm gonna have to look up that game. She actually took out my Pokemon.
Okay. I see how it is. Well, after this gym fight, I'll look it up. for new games to play considering Resident Evil is going to be going back to one one stream per week as Resident Evil 8 is the shut up Lano I really don't care about you oh she's getting mad because I'm hauling all her popularity ooh ooh I'm so scared I'm so scared of you I'm hogging all the popularity ah Have two games. Oh no. First and second. I'm gonna have to look that up after the gym. Eh. Of course, Conrados comes here next with it. Oh, you have a fairy type move. Oh. This is not gonna go well for me. Am I faster? Nope. Two Pokemon down. The gym leader I hate the most is taking care of two of my Pokemon. Which I have to say is pretty surprising. Yeah. Let's make this a lot more fun. It doesn't matter. Oh, that was a critical hit? I thought that was normal damage. I have stolen your spotlight once again. And I have beaten you, Lano. Yeah, I stole your spotlight again. I really hate her. Where are you? Uh, hang on. Because I have to... I'm, I'm skipping through a dialogue. I hate her. I do not like her. Oh, shut up. This is a gym leader I hate. Just because she's so annoying. Everyone's like, I hate Whitney. No, I hate her more. I hate her much more. You want to know where you are? Well, that's very simple. Conrados, your name, first part of your name, Emperor. Well, there you go. You got this Pokemon. I mean, it only makes sense. You have armor. Oh, I never picked this up. I never picked that up. Okay. I never picked it. I was walking around this place yesterday for a while. And I didn't pick any of these things up. Mm. That's three gems. Uh, fourth gem. Fourth gem. Let's go fight the ghost type gym leader. As all the gym leaders seem to have all the same levels, so. You overdosed on sugar. I don't think it's possible to overdose. I think you could get diabetes from sugar, but other than that, probably not. I'm fine. I have to go through the eight gym leaders anyway. Better do them one after the other. So, let's see. Who am I going to have for this gym fight? That's a good question. Well, since it's ghost type... A Psychic type, a Psychic fire type, uh, no, Fire Psychic type, or Psychic fire type. Oh well, let's go fight the gym leader. It's gonna be interesting when I... Well, if you eat enough sugar, you feel like you're gonna vomit and drop dead. I'm gonna call it overdose. I mean, you could say that. It's the wrapper. Well, if it's in my little challenge of midnight, 
What brings you back here, baby? Finally ready for a rap battle? I'm here for the gym infection. inspection. Hold on, you're telling me La Prima sent you to check on my gym? So instead of her, I got you. She sent a rookie champion instead of coming out here herself. Doesn't she know who I am? Yes, she does. She sent me instead because I beat her. Sorry, I got heated there. Don't worry, though. You aren't the one who struck that nerve. Oh, well, I was thinking I'd be... I'd like to see you again anyway. Guess who... Guess this is just how fate has it. If we're doing this, let's do it. Ready to show me how strong the, all those adventures made you? I don't know why I'm going with a southern type of accent, but a, uh, I think I went for a, a big black woman accent. I mean, it's sort of... Actually, I don't know. Is that a southern accent? I have no idea. Oh well. This is the only double battle gym leader there is. She's a rapper. Oh boy. Let's begin. Oh, nope, she's just rapping. She's got a microphone. Up oh, there it is. I was like, wait, she doesn't have one Pokemon. Oh. Oh you think you think just because? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun with this. Oh. Let's do it. Let's get that terastalized form out early. Off we go to the... I'm actually getting close to the affiliate rank. I'm getting close to it. And once I reach it, I have to play Dark Souls 2. I've been playing so many other games, I'm kind of not interested in playing Dark Souls, but I have to keep my word. I keep my word every time. Oh, what? They... I did not know that. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. So they just nerfed it a little bit. Disguise is such a good ability. Houndstone. faster than you and your disguise no longer works in generation 7 Mimikyu's ability disguise was so broken because you could take 2,000 damage you were fine in generation 8 they nerfed it and then in generation 9 I guess they just said a little bit of damage oh wow Gym leader number four. What, what do you mean? The gym leader? She's fine. I mean, she's a rapper. Hey, I like that she's different. Oh! Oh, you hit me for a lot of damage. Spiritomb. Spiritomb contains 101 evil souls all condensed into one. There goes Toxtricity. The ghost types are probably some of the easiest types to deal with. Unless you're a dark and ghost type. There goes Emperor. There it goes. <laughs> Twitter toxicity. No. The Pokemon's name is Toxtricity. If only. Hey, 
and I have beaten you again. That is two for two. It does sound the same. Well, since I'm right near the 8th gym leader, I might as well go fight the 8th gym leader. And then there is the psychic type gym leader. And I actually, I don't know who else. Well, I might as well go fight ice type. Only makes sense. I mean, I, I could, I could technically just like, go right over there, but nah. Finish this up because I am sure it's the game said that there was other things after this, so I'm curious because each one of them has a flag next to it. I really don't know what to expect because this game keeps taking me for a loop. It's like, oh, you got this to do, and then this, and then this. I completed my whole thing. I completed the gym. I completed my Pokedex. And I'm happy about that. I finally got to do that. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I did it. And I'm happy about that. Ah, hello. Huh. I recognize you. You hit this... You here to hit the slopes. I don't recall the snow being too good today. I'm here for a battle. Ah, oh, for real? I got something important to be dealing with in a bit, you know? Actually, I'm here for that. Oh, I see. You're here to cover for Gita. So your dream came true. You're champion rank now. You must be so happy. Ah, eh, not really. I'm only doing this because... Oh, my bad. That sounded a lot more sarcastic than it intended to be. Don't get me wrong, I really think it's amazing, just it's complicated for me, that's all. Anyway, you came to test my skills, right? Let's just get this over with. Yeah, let's get it over with. Let's head outside. You best hope it's not snowing. Apparently the Elite Four has no rematches, which are fine by me. I don't want to have to rematch them with like level 90 Pokemon. That would be a pain. The weather's in your favor today. I guess the snowy mountains decide to be kind. The league manip mandated inspections happen a few times a year. If we don't show we're up for the job, we'll lose our position as gym leaders. Gita always says that it's formality, but I've already had to give up on being a pro snowboarder. If it takes away the talents I still have for the, to show, then what will be left? Sorry, I didn't mean to bring temperance down, temperature down. It's simple enough, really. All I need to do is make sure my power chill Pokemon chills you to the bone. I don't think that's gonna happen. I have a steel type and two fire types. Oh look, it's Frostmoth. Conditions are all right, I guess. Good enough to defeat you anyway. Let's get right to it. This probably means I'm much faster. The psychic type gym, I'm probably gonna make my last gym. A four times weakness with a two times bonus. Six times the weakness. Six times the defeat. Ice types are really powerful. They're so weak. Although, I mean, I can't really be talking too much considering I fought the gym leader and I lost to very hard. But this time I'm ready. It's a titan.
reason for you to do anything. Weavile. This is probably the most damaging Pokemon to deal with. An Ice and Dark type. They're very powerful. I don't think it's going to do too much. It's still faster than me. Well, there are some Pokemon that are just really fast. That's the whole point of them. They're fast. But Ice types, man? Quite the opposite. The weakest typing in the game, and I kind of wish it had an immunity to a few types. A good example is that they would have immunity to flying. I won't let things heat up any further. Time to bring the deep freeze. Let's freeze it. Let it snow. Let it pile up on top of us. My fifth gym the first time I was beaten and I had to fight you as the eighth gym. Now you're the fifth gym and I have fifth gym rematch and I have taken you out. Larry Grusha, I've beaten you again. The burning passion, I kind of like it to be honest. And that's it, Grusha. Man, Gita must really have it out for me, sending someone there's no way I could beat. Still no regrets on my part, I gave it everything I had. I hit you full force and I lost anyway, it made me feel frustrated. It makes me want to become as str uh, strong as a gym leader, put more effort into myself. I thought my passion had frozen over, but you rekindled it for me. Thanks, Midnight. I won't lose to you next time, you'll see. Try not to catch a cold on your way down the mountain, eh? Rusha, are you Canadian? I don't know. Well, who's next? That's a good question. I know normal. The water type gym leader. I think he should be my last to battle because I can't deal with water types. There's a mass outbreak. Well, we might as well might as well go fight Larry. I mean, he's the one who really is. Again, that's another typing I don't really have a counter to. Normal. But this is my first time playing Generation Nine, so I have generally just pick which Pokemon I'd like to use. Water type is not my forte. Which is why Bum Bum has electric type moves on her. Well, Larry, it's you and me. I could change my team around, but why would I do that? Go in with the same team that you already did. It's time for a meeting with the boss, but seems I got a visitor with no appointment instead. This is absolutely something she'd do. No, no, I understand everything, I assure you. It's much appreciated. Oh, of course, it's no problem. La Prima is my boss, so I have to do as she says. But now she's ordering students around? I see. So you're helping the boss free up some time to enter a tournament at the academy. 
Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. I never let myself get roped in like that. Well, let's knock this task off our list then. No time w waste, no use wasting time, shall we? Yep. I'm gonna have to take a sip. Let's head to the treasury eatery then. You already faced me during the elite test, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in the role as gym leader, so I'm going to be using my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal as in plain, average, unremarkable, run-of-the-mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know. They suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you get. People, Pokemon, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want to... A shock father, something weird, something bizarre. At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. When all's said and done, simplicity is strongest. I mean, he's not wrong. Alright, Larry. Let's do it. Boss takes some getting used to, you know. You've got your work cut out for you. Ah, oh, let's do it. Normal and Ghost completely avoid each other. So let's start out with a terrestrialized fire type. Vamp, you did it. You got a critical. You did good. I'm a bit curious to know what he has. Da hmm. dun sparse. I love how uh, Gingham Freak's like, oh, you want an evolution for Dunsparce? Okay. Here you go. I love that. I wanted to use a Dunsparce on my team, but I kind of was like, I don't really know where to put you. So probably when I play Pokemon Violet, I'll, play, I'll use a Dunsparce. Because there's not many Pokemon I want to use. As I always say, I want to use the brand new Pokemon. And if... Foy Coco wasn't my first choice, obviously I would go for the cat. But Foy Coco became a favorite of mine immediately. It's always interesting. I've always done the water type first, and then the grass. If water type didn't interest me, then grass type. Never fire. And now I've gotten more of a fire type person. That's what happens when you get older. I like water types. I like grass types. I like fire types. Ah, oh, yeah, my special attack is way too high. Staraptor! You're just plain strong, aren't you? But I always had to output my best results when it's crunch time. Isn't that funny? Hey, you can lower my attack, but... Torch. I like Larry. Time to show what we can really do. Same good as work. Yeah! It reminds me of me, but older. I mean, to be honest, Larry is just like this normal guy. But he's like become a fan favorite character because he's just so boring. <laughs> Which is why I give him a boring voice. Only makes sense to do so. And that's that. Oh, he is absolutely relatable on a whole nother level. 
The third sorting ring of defeat, huh? Yep, I fought Larry as an Elite Four member, now I fight him as a gym rematch. He's the only Elite Four member, you get to fight twice. You're a bit too much of an average Joe like me to handle, but I think I understand now. Why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four, I mean. There's scenery you'll never notice if you stick to flat, well-trotted paths. It'll do me good to admire the talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. She won't catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on overtime hours, so I'll call it for a day. Oh, Larry, don't change. I hope he's like this in the anime. I hope he's so unbelievably monotoned in the anime, where he's like, Yes, I'm here. What do you need me to do? I'm the gym leader, Larry. I would love that. That's what he needs to be. Nah, he doesn't need a hug. No. My last gym leader fight is gonna be the water type gym, as he's gonna be the most difficult for me. As I really only have one move to take care of water types. I have no ability to take care of water types. And that's the one problem I have. All of my team are pretty much unable to take care of water types or don't do much damage to them. But I have the ability to take care of psychic types. But before I go in, time to get a sandwich. New sandwiches. All right, sandwich time. Zesty. A spicy sandwich, yes. The eating animation in this game is a bit lacking, but that's what I love about it. I love that it's a bit lacking. It's hilarious, though. I would love to have a sandwich, but there is something that I want to try, and I love it. I love gummy candy. That's the one thing you should know about me. I love gummy candy, and there is a gummy ghost pepper. You know where this is going. I am going to eat a gummy ghost pepper in the future. Absolutely. Will I do it on a stream? Yeah, probably not. I'm going to have to eat it first. Oh, if it isn't midnight, it's been too long. Your beauty has become even more refined since the last time we met. Yours as well, Tulip. Who taught you the art of flattery? Is my young friend all grown up now? So you're here in the place of Gita, are you? Just between you and me, I'm not exactly her biggest fan. The bewitching auras of hers overlaps too much with my own style. So it may be for the best that she sent someone else to, for the job. With you, I feel like I can really give this battle all I've got. Without further ado, are you ready for, to pursue quintessential beauty together? Absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Let's head to the battle court. I think she is like the only gym leader who wears heels that high. Although, no. There's Valerie from Generation 6, who is a, who is a fashion character. So let's do it. Gym battle number seven. I'm not gonna like number eight. My team changes all the time. Let's do it. Oh, that's interesting. Those things move very fast. Giraffe Riggs Evolution. 
normal and psychic type. This is the second, wait no, this is the third Pokemon game where I had a uh, dark type, a completely pure dark type on my team. Generation 8, Liz, Zigzagoon's final, Obstagoon. And I, uh... What did I name him? What did I name Obstagoon? I don't remember. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's effective. Oh, no, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Ooh, that hurt. Well, Gita, what do you got for me? Ah, Gardevoir. I'm gonna have to switch to a completely different Pokemon for this one. Let's send in Daddy Bun. Daddy Bun has not been seen in a single gym fight, so let's do it. Gardevoir is easily one of my favorite Pokemon. I love that move, though. Gigaton Hammer, just smashing a hammer down on their head is hilarious. Esperantha. Es... Hathra. Oh, you sure you're gonna do that? Let's use a bit of a knockoff here. I love it, the hammer gets used. Florges. I'm shook and not in a good way. Unpleasant surprises are not good for my skin. Ah, she's a model. I mean, she's very beautiful, so don't get me wrong on that. She's very beautiful. But let's smash it with a hammer! I love, I love so much. I love when Pokemon do this. But just give me something I can use a hammer on. Time for gym fight in over seven to complete. Actually, I think this is the first gym where I have not lost a single Pokemon. Well, that and the first gym, of course. And there it goes. That was easy. Every one of my Pokemon have gotten terrestrialized, but the only one who hasn't been terrestrialized is Tuna and Bum Bum. I did try to get Tuna terrestrialized, but I guess it didn't go through. Okay. Well, let's go. It is time to go after the eighth and final fight. The big fight. The last fight of the game. Well, probably not. I mean, there's probably still more to do. But I finally get to see what's after these eight gyms that have been here since Monday. It only makes sense. To make it this gym. The last gym of the game. I can't use a single water type. I can't use a single fire type. N nor... Well, actually, I think I could use Bam. Maybe. And we'll start with Bam.
Big finale to the gym fights. Going to be so interesting. Hiya, step right up. Welcome to Carfar's gym. Oh, Tenvaluza, look who it is. I was expecting someone else. I came instead. Aha, I see Miss Gita put you up to this, did she? I feel like just yesterday that you were out collecting your badges and now look at you. Already champion rank. You're like one of old fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as is. Evolves. Oh, for the life, which is a great catch. And now this, our promising up and coming here to test me abilities herself. Don't worry, this old man's used to facing harsher reviews. Part of the old restaurant business. All right, then. You're ready to battle this old man and see if he's still to be called Jim later? That's what I like to hear, right this way. It's time for the final gym fight. I don't think I'm going to be able to rematch gym leaders after this. But okay. Ever since you fought for the choice seaweed for me, all me dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well with being worthy of champion rank. Good gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? All I've, se I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead of the rage and river and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man if himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean, that water then climbs up to the clouds and a bit becomes rain. I am Kofu, Kofu the torrent ever changing just like water. Now come see what I'm made of. Final fight. Balooza! Well, I could have, I could have sent someone out. Good ingredients don't need Kano cover up spices. Get ready for fresh old man Kofu. This is the gym fight I'm going to have the most difficulty with, I know for a full fact. This is why I saved it for last. That's not gonna work on me. That's not gonna go well. Yep. There goes Van. Well, I might as well use Tuna. I mean, water types don't easily hurt dragons, so. Oh, it's a. F oh, yeah, because Pelipper's part flying. That's good. There we go. What, sir? Let's go with a glaive rush. Woo, that was powerful. Wug Trio. Ah, yes, this Pokemon.
Root truck. Oh, wait, that's dirt type move. No, not a fighting type. Damn, that's a powerful dragon type move. I think it's exclusive to this Pokemon, which is good. Should be a, in future generations, available to all of them. Crab Bombitable. Gah! Beating down the hatches and prepare for a storm. This is what it makes battling shy. Crab Bombitable. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do it. A Crab Bombitable terrorize and think outside the crab trap, I say. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Probomitable seems to be a bulky ice type because it's ice and fighting. Which is interesting. Wow. Oh, shoot. Tuna toughed it out so you wouldn't feel bad. Let's go with an Ice Fang. Let's finish this up. I'm sorry, Bum Bum, but... It only makes sense. And there we go. What a refreshing loss, my mind's as clear as still water. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this very much. You really put the pressure on. Guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Parima's seal of approval. What a catch. The wildest currents, for better or worse, pull in everything around them and have a really wild and drastic effect on the surroundings. That makes friends or yours who stay by your side all the more important. Oh. Your youthful vigor has got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Miss Gita, tell her that whole man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend, and you'll come back to see me again now, ya hear? I enjoy Kofu. I gave him, like, an Irish accent, and I liked it. Oh. I got a phone call. Hello, am I speaking to Champion Midnight? This is Gita. How is your inspection of the gyms going? I'm done with them all. You've done a wonderful job, thank you. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that you stopped by to see them. I knew giving you this task was the right decision, Champion Midnight. All of them seemed quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now, I would like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy at the entrance hall. I'll be waiting there. Oh, no. I have to go there and... Oh, no. Is this another test? Oh, no. I'm going to fail this test. Unless I have to fight her. Well, then. Let's begin. I better first go heal my Pokemon, of course. Only makes sense. We've been doing this for almost an hour and a half. An hour and 15 minutes. I think this might be the last regular Pokemon stream that I do until DLC for this game comes out. I mean, I'm going to be playing this game in my own spare time, of course. That's 100% going to happen. When DLC comes out, hopefully... I kind of hope there's DLC. I would love to see this game get... I mean, there's a whole section of the game that I... I've not seen yet. Time to go up the... the, like, a hundred stairs... again. But I say, screw it. Jump onto the building! 
I can't jump onto the building. What the heck? Why can't I jump onto the buildings? That's not fair. I can't jump onto the buildings. Why can't I jump onto the buildings? That's not fair. Can I jump on top of... Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I have to do something. Can I jump on the top of this thing? I can jump on the top of the buildings. I can do that. Oh, there's something down there. Hang on. Give me a moment. I've always... I saw in little TikToks that, that this was here. What was the... What was the point of this? There's... Wait a second. Oh god. Oh god. Have I ever... Have I ever been up here? Wait a second. Is this a part of the area I just never explored? Yeah. I've never been up here. I've been distracted again. There's a sandwich shop right there. Where's the... What is the point of being up here? That Oh, there's an item up here. That makes sense. Ice Fang was over here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine by me. Into the school we go. What am I gonna have to do? Fight the professors? I hope not. I have no idea what to expect. Hello, Gita. Good day, Champion Midnight. Now tell me, what do you think of our entrance hall? Do you enjoy being surrounded by books? I love it. That's good to hear. I was renovate. I renovated. It was renovated a few years ago, and I was the one who came up with the new design. But more importantly, I would very much like to hear your report on the gym leaders. Ah, now that I think about it, this location is perhaps a little too public. Do you know anywhere quiet we might be able to discuss this more discreetly? Where? Oh, my dorm. Okay. I guess. So this is the dorm where you live. I was thinking the dorm. I wonder, is this the room where room that what helped nurture your potential as a champion uh, wait I remember now you only recently moved into the dormitories in the near future perhaps I'll pay more pay your family's home a visit if I may anyway let's get to the topic at hand I would very much like to hear your report now that you've inspected the gyms tell me which gym leader did you feel was the easiest to face in battle ah, I, would, I would have to say that's Grusha Grusha was the easiest to fight in battle Grusha, you say. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on you? Oh, that's Kofu. Kofu, my man. I love Kofu. Kofu, of course. Then which gym leader gave you the most trouble during your battle? That was Lano. Oh, Lano. Next to the last most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Hmm, that's a good one. That, I, that, I, I have to say Larry. I like Larry the most. Larry, I see. Those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your help on this. Your perspective was fascinating, Champion Midnight. I have no doubt it will assist me when running the organization. Please accept this as thanks. A King's Rock. Hmm. Thanks to you, my schedule has cleared up quite significantly. So I will most definitely be joining the tournament we discussed in the director's office. I'm sure Champion Nimona will be, ple be pleased too. Oh, uh, that. Well... Thanks for letting me visit. I should get back to work now. You must be tired. I suggest you take it easy for the rest of the day. 
Yes! What now? What do I do now? I guess rest up? I have no idea. What is this tournament? One week later, thanks to Nimona, Nimona's pushing for a bit of cooperation from the Pokemon League, they finally arrived for the great Pokemon battle competition to be held. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to do this. Oh no, hi Nimona. Hey Midnight. I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah, that's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting, memorable. But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. And then even Director Clavel got into calling it, so now I'd, I'm just like, ah. Anyway, how are you feeling, Midnight? And the mind said to do some winning? No. <sighs> I don't want to fight. So cool that La Prima gonna be make a guest appearance thanks to your hard work. I wish I didn't have my hands full with all the behind-the-scenes admin stuff. I won't get to do any battling myself. Yes! I don't have to battle you! But I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk at the entrance hall. No stalling. Ah, uh, so this is the post-post game, isn't it? Welcome to the post-post game where I have to go battle. Ah. Off to the entrance hall where I do the post- but Wait a second, this is just Generation 5 all over again. I just realized that's what this is. Hmm. So in Generation 5, Pokemon Black and White 2, there was so much to do. And then there was the Pokemon World Championship. Why do I have a feeling this is what it's going to be? This is just Pokemon World Championship Part 2. There you are, Midnight. You gotta get through the application process with the staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for the explanation now, mister. Alright then, the rules of the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random, and only winners will advance to the next round. Opponents will be matched by a lottery, and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Oh, fuck. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But lose once and you'll be knocked out. No more battles for you after that. Last trainer standing will... The only person to win all their matches will be deemed the best of all the Academy's ace. Thank you very much. We hashed out the tournament rules with help of Director Clavel. Based on the number of entries so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget... You might go up against the faculty, too. They're tough. They're tough stuff. So good luck and be even tougher. Oh, no. The only person allowed to beat me is you. That is a lie. Please talk to me when you're ready to take part. Oh, God. I have to do this tournament. Oh, there. Yeah. Yep, I'm a tramp champion rank down to the battle court. Oh, no. I've never done something like this. This is the first game where I've actually done it. Pokemon World Tournament, I was kind of like, ah, it's not really my thing. This game is like, nah. You want to do it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to be... Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Narja Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Miss Ma bitch. Fucking hell, that scared the shit out of me. Thank you for the hydrate. You know, I said I was gonna look up um, Home Sweet Home, so give, give me a moment. Home Sweet Home. Horror game. First person horror game adventure based on Thai myths and beliefs. What? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no,
Hmm, that's not gonna be a good idea. Oh, this is gonna screw me over. Well, I better uh, add it to my wish list. I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Oh boy. Thank you, Arvin. It gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve his feat during their time at the academy. Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Nimonen. Celebration of a friend's accomplishment. I invite all of you here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of the esteemed faculty. Hello, Alexa. Now, without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin. What the fuck am I gonna have to do? I'm fi- Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding me. Up against my little champion buddy right from the first round. Uh, I don't really know, because I don't- There is a- There is no- uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I am very surprised to see you. Because you beat me. I over I over leveled to fight you, Arvin. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh boy. I don't know what he's got. Well actually no, I do know what he's got. He's got a normal type. Oh, I like the music! It's this thing. What is the level of this thing? Oh, good. I have the advantage. I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm going to win this without holding back. Okay, so a decent level. I thought it'd be like level 75. I would actually, I would have been actually scared. Oh, okay. Ah, Van, you've got this. Van's got this. Toad's... Toad's scroll. Let's send him an ice type. It's four times weak anyway, to ice. I like the music. This is different. There was nothing on Cirabi about this. So this is the... I'm seeing this for the first time. So I don't know what to expect. I don't know who to expect. So... Who am I gonna fight? That's the good question. It's called Summer 98. Garn... Ganal. Summer 98. Still powerful. Stone Edge. Oh boy. Oh my god, that was powerful. Okay. Well, uh, let, me, let me let me let me look up Summer 98. Let let's see it. Let's see it, shall we? If if it'll load. No. No, no game, not song. There's a song called Summer 98. There's no Summer 98. It's Summer 59, 58. It's not 98, it's 58. Summer of 58, wait a second. Oh no. Oh fuck. Summer of 58. You know, that reminds me of it. It. The clown. Oh, Glaive Brush is actually really good. Cloister. 
I have no idea what to expect. I'll uh, keep those games and I'll probably play them this month. I mean, December can either be the nicest, the happiest time of the year, or the scariest time of the year. I was originally going to play the Disney game that came out, but nope. I'm probably going to be playing something else instead. Alright, Bum Bum, let's see what you got. Scariest month for you. I mean, I might as well do a terrestrialized form. Bum Bum didn't get to see a terrestrialized form during the gym rematches, so might as well do it here. Hey, Thunderfang actually hit. Picked a bad time to choose my boss tip. I get to have fun now. I get to send out Daddy Bun. I'm putting everything I got into this. No regrets allowed. No left efforts after this meal. It's not gonna. It's not gonna matter. Let's light up the school brattle brawl, my boss Tiff, brighter than anybody. Are you sure about that? What the hell just happened? I, saw, I noticed. Okay. That doesn't matter. Okay, well, I just realized you're very bulky. You're so strong and cool. I'm really proud to call you my best friend, you know? I love Arvin. His whole story was the most sad. And the winner of the first round is Champion Midnight. First strength of the champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. You better try as hard as I would have round two for me. I don't know who's round two. My teacher? I'm fighting my teacher. I don't even know what Pokemon you have. Uh-oh. I guess I'm your ho the homeroom teacher for two uh, champion-ranked students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a bit, wee bit of pressure here. I've got, I got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get this started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. I have no idea what Pokemon you use, sir. My homeroom teacher. Oh. Oh no. Show me what you got in your own way at your own pace. I am... I don't know at all what he has. 100% I don't know. Damn, Van. You are such a tank. You take hits like a champ. Oh, special defense. That's not good. Again, close combat. That's a bad idea to do on a fire type in the Pokemon when you're fighting a rock type. I mean, my biology teacher probably has a bunch of mammal like Pokemon, so. I don't know. Mudsdale. I haven't seen a Mudsdale in a long time. Okay, Mudsdale, let's see what you got. 
I just sent out the wrong, completely different call. Oh my god. Oh no. Mudsdale's a good powerhouse of a Pokemon. Well, might as well start fighting. That didn't do much. Ah, stamina. That's not good at all. What? Why do they all have close combat? And your special defense fell. I am, uh... I don't know what's gonna ha- I don't know what he has. Lorantis? Oh, that's interesting. Huh. This is quite the interesting, uh, Pokemon. And there goes Bum Bum. After I stream this, I'm gonna eat, like, I'm gonna eat 16 hot dogs. Let's send an Emperor. I have no idea what my teacher has. Slow, bro. Well, that's interesting. Let's go with the terrestrialized form of Ghost. This is the only terrestrialized Pokemon that I have that has an alternate typing. So I get that Ghost typing I've always wanted on my team. If Slowbro survived that, I would have just been like, what the heck? That thing is so defensive. Swallow. It has been a long time since I've seen a Swallow. Actually, Swallow has the same exact stats as Muck. There's so many Pokemon I have missed. What is this thing's typing? Wow, you sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? No? What is this thing's type gonna be? I have no idea. Just a little energy, there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terastalizes. Is it gonna be normal or is it gonna be psychic? That's the question. Psychic. Ah, oh, I should have done a psychic type move. Oh well. No way to ghost type move. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Not as bad as I thought though. How many battles am I gonna have to do? Four battles? I'm very happy Giraffarig got an evolution. Wow, you did great. I'm surprised. I didn't expect that uh, he would have these Pokemon. Huh, you beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Midnight? You're more fit for the teaching position than I am with my with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jock, did I hear you correctly just now? Uh, oh, uh, hi, Director, are you angry with me? Well, I'm going to get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, that's interesting. Only four trainers remain. Uh, okay. Dendra! I love her. I love Dendra. I love her. 
I'm so happy. Oh, why couldn't she the, be the final battle, though? I am so happy about this. Falling. I'm so happy that I get to fight her. I love her. I love Dendra so much. She is my favorite teacher. 100% she's my favorite. I know a lot of people love her too, but I love her. She she easily passes like if you didn't see this, but she has a hard time making sandwiches and I absolutely love every second about that about her. So I'm curious to know what she has. I mean, I know she has a Metachan. So that's all I know. I'm curious. Tauros. Oh yeah, this Tauros. Which type though? Oh, it's the fire fighting Tauros. Interesting. I am very certain, yeah. It's like everyone has close combat for some reason. Well then, let's have some fun. Emperor, will you do the honors? I could be using... Oh, wow, it's faster. Now I'm speedier. Emperor being a fire psychic type is one... That is my favorite combination. All because of Generation 6. Getting rid of the fire fighting. The other Tauros. Interesting. So this is the fire, wa the water. Oh, that is really cool. I didn't know that. It's a shame that it's not an evolution. It's just an alternate form. It's a real shame that that's all it is. Halucha. Time to expand that force. Magnum power. I am very much enjoying this. There is Medicham. Time for a Shadow Ball. Actually, my biology teacher had a pretty diverse team. That's interesting. Ariyama. You got real fighting, you new kid. This battle's really stoked my fighting spirit. She still calls me the new kid, even though we've had a couple of classes together. Okay. Fine by me. Aim to push patch your limits day by day, Osu. Why does she say that, Osu? I love Dendra. I love Miss Dendra. Hariyama! It's nice seeing an old Pokemon I used to use. The, the uh, very first Pokemon I ever nicknamed was a Hari Hariyama, just called a capital letter A. It was just the capital letter A. That's all it was. I was like, A. I don't know why, but I did. I see you've honed your skills, no kid. I love you, Ms. Dendra. I love you. I'm curious, who am I going to fight? No way, I got crushed. But I still got something great out of this battle. That was a massive chance for me to grow. 
You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. That's why we always harping on kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the bell. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament, and don't forget, osu, osu, osu. Is it orda, orda, orda? Orda, orda, orda. Oh, no. Against Gita? I'm fighting against the champion. This is a champion rematch. I didn't think I get to do this. This is all. Oh, I didn't think I get to do this. Good you cha day, champion midnight. I had a feeling I would meet you in the finals. Hone strength against hone strength. Such a clash is the captures the crowd and makes the hearts race. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As a chairperson for both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, Champion Midnight, our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, we've got a fight against the champion. This is a rematch. It's a champion rematch now. This is, this is gonna be good. Let us set an example for everyone, you and I. Oh yeah, this is, this is what I like to have. There's, there it is. That was a critical, oh, Van can take it. As Partha is being salt cured, I love this move, and I love this Pokemon's ability. It stops me from, like, having any ill effects on me, which is great. You can raise the spe- you can lower the special defense all you want. And then Salt Cure comes in and takes you down. I have, like, an ear-to-ear -ear smile again. That was yesterday after finishing Resident Evil 7, and now today. Avalog, here it is. Who is faster, Avalog or Van? It's Van. That is such a bulky ice type. There goes Van. Let's send in Vamp. Wow, all my Pokemon are over level 75. That's crazy. Good job, Vamp. You're doing me proud. King Gambit. This Pokemon, I wanted to use it so badly. It's just so cool looking. And I can't believe it. Bisharp's evolution. Bisharp has an evolution. A Gen 5 Pokemon having an evolution. I love it. I love Gen 5. I would love to see a remake of it. I want to see a remake of Gen 5. And I can guarantee you 100% that game would be played. Every... It would be played for so long. It's ridiculous. Veluza... Oh yeah, it's this thing. I keep forgetting this thing's name. I'm like, what is this thing? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, okay. Good job, Vamp. Oh, I see Nimona back there. I didn't even see her. She's in the back, you know, you can see right between the, the uh, awning the uh, green and the yellow, you can see her right back there. It's interesting. I didn't notice her before. Well, it only makes one thing clear. Glamora. The only Pokemon I know that I could probably do this with is bu Daddy Bun. She hasn't been terrestrialized in a while. 
I don't think she was used for the final battle, really. Well, make this match a fitting one for the finale. A grand spectacle. Here we go. Let's smash it with a hammer. Daddy Bun being my most powerful, and Glamora being her most powerful. Our most powerful Pokemon, duking it out. Let's do it. May you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glamora. Poke-catch Gita. I know, right? I would say Poke-catch Dendra, in my personal opinion. And there it is. Toxic Debris. That is a really good effect. A Rock and Poison type is really cool, too. It's a shame it's on a Pokemon you can't really find. The future of Paldea is indeed bright. I'm so curious to know what happens. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the victor for this tournament, and thus the strongest chainer in the whole academy is Champion Midnight. Oh, Nimona right over there is like having a fucking like heartthrob right there. I am the strongest trainer in all of Paldea. I can't believe it. I mean, I'm the champion. <laughs> I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off any of the matches. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater, this is our motto of Naranja Academy, and the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now I'm aware my speechless speeches tend to get a little, shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up there. Now I turn to the floor to the to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. The friendly rivalry of the trainers, the cheering and the encouragement from the crowd, I feel these are the perfect ingredients for the academy. No, for the whole of Paldea region to become lively and energized. Champion Midnight was far stronger today than when she took the Pokemon League's final test. It is clear that she strives to become better every day, even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not to just by her, but by every trainer gathered here who aims to new heights. And that the seeds from many more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of all your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Kita. Now, alas, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But this event seems to me to be a wonderful way to build a rapport, rapport between faculty and students and they invigorate the wider community beyond our walls. So, I hereby declare the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event and will continue to be held regularly. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our first, uh, very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you again for joining us here today, and I hope you're all excited for the next one. That was a lot of fun. Midnight, you did it. Congratulations on winning it all. I'm so happy. It almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arvin's stupid school battle brawl name. Oh yeah, here's your prize. 
Sporty Cap, Pokemon League. Director Clavel told me he got it, caught up in all the excitement, forgot to give it to you. So I guess you get the strongest in the school throne for now, Midnight. Keep it warm for me. Oh, really? I'm gonna be in the tournament next time and I'll be coming right for you. When any of you feel like entering the tournament again, just talk to the staffer at the front desk. You know, Midnight, I've relished every day since you moved here to Peldea and became my rival. So glad I messed you. I meant it. I mean it. Yay! I'm actually really smiling. Like, it's just ear to ear smile. Is that it? Oh, phone call. Hello, hello, Midnight. Is this, this is Jock. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I'm sure I'm proud to be to have one of my students become the Academy's Ace. <laughs> Mr. Jock. Ah. Don't worry, Dr. Clavel. Director Clavel, I'll get to the point now. I'm actually calling you to tell you the highly difficult terror raids have been cropping up all over the place. We're getting report after report from Academy students about the Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're still a bit shorthanded. So we're wondering if you could, we could enlist the, your help since your Academy's ace and all. How about it, Midnight? Leave it to me. Woohoo, thank you. Your Pokedex automatically records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to to take on take on a lot of these tough terror rate battles. But don't get it over your head. Even the Academy's Ace needs to be careful. I I sure would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyway, we're counting on you. And that. Well, here's the thing. There's very important raids going on. And I'm looking for a specific one, because there's one going on right now. I need to figure out where it is. Oh. A Dragonair mass outbreak. Well, firstly... We gotta check every si Oh, wait, I can't... F I'm, I'm inside a building. I can't do anything yet. There's one more thing we have to do today. One more. One very important thing. And what is that? Very important thing. There's a current raid, terror raid going on that I would like to go to. I have to find it though. Really? There's, there's no, okay, there's another dragon type one over there. Okay, that's three. There's three. Okay. How about we go to this one first, because it's the closest one? But there's a terror raid event going on right now that, of course, has a specific Pokemon from Generation 1. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Generation 1, I might as well say it right now. This Generation 1 Pokemon is a terror raid event. The only way you can do it. Drink, bitch! God. Again. Okay. Why is that suddenly louder? Maybe it's because I have the volume on my computer turned out to a hundred. Let me see. Yeah. Thank you for the hydrate. One final thing. right? Is it this one? I don't think it's this one. Nope, it's not this one. Well, actually, before I do anything else, I should probably look it up. So... Sarahb.net. I'll be going to that website because I need to look it up right now. December 2nd, which it is right now, to December 4th. Wh what? 
It's a level 100. Oh no. That's not good at all. Oh no. A level 100? Oh boy. Terror Raid. It's dragon type. Oh no. I didn't know it was level 100. Well, if I can't find it, I thought it was going to be like a five star. No, it's a six star. I've done a few terror raids, but nothing on that scale. I arrived at my destination. A five star raid! That's a save a but it's not what I'm looking for. last one would be over here. The only thing I can really do is do one specific thing. One very specific thing. If it's not this one, then I may have, then I might have to end. Find that about. I gotta get you higher. Bun is level 84. The highest level Pokemon I've trained up. But that's not it. That's not the highest Pokemon I've ever trained up. Trust me on that one. The highest Pokemon I've ever trained up is indeed a Swampert. Level 90. That was the highest level Pokemon I've ever raised. It's a shame that Swampert is no longer with me, but... Things things happen. Is this it? Nope. <sighs> well, that's a that's a shame. That's a real big shame. I guess that's it. I wanted to do that. But now knowing it's level 100, I think I'd rather not do that. No. I guess that's it. I mean, those two horror games, I'm probably going... I'm going to see how they are. I want to see, like, what type of... stuff they require for the computer to run it. But uh, I'll probably play them next week. I mean, I'm gonna need... I'm, uh, curious. Can I, uh, set up a picnic? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Probably best not to picnic here. Okay. Actually, let's do it right over here. Yep. Let's do it right in front of our house. Because also I can make a sandwich. This was a fun journey. Oh, <laughs> a bit of lag all of a sudden.
you doing? Stand next to me. Thank you all so much for watching. But... Uh, oh, you left me! Can we do the picnic now? Probably not. Why can't I picnic? I want a picnic. I want to end the stream while picnicking. Fine, I guess I'll go into the first route. Fine. We'll, we'll have a picnic here. You know what? No. No, I know where to have a picnic. I know exactly. Give me a moment. Gonna let me jump. Let's have it on the beach. Now I can have a picnic. This is the only way I can really say it. where all seven of them get to come out. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> yep. I had so much fun. I'm going to be playing more of this in the future, but I don't really know what to do. So we're going to end it here. I think this makes a lot of sense. End it here. We became the champion of Palbea. There's a lot. There's a lot to unfold about this, but it's time to move on. Let's go raid Vampire Blood 7. Let's go raid him. Because I haven't been able to raid him in a long time, and I want to raid him. He's a vampire bat. Called Vampy. He's a, he's, I think he's playing a horror game. So if you want to see a horror game, so let's let's go raid him. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday. I don't know what for, but see you.